The Royal Guernsey Light Infantry was an infantry regiment of the British Army that was formed from the Royal Guernsey Militia in 1916 to serve in World War I. They fought as part of the British 29th Division. Of the 2,280 men, most of whom came from Guernsey, who fought on the Western Front with the RGLI, 327 were killed and 667 were wounded. Many Guernsey men had already volunteered for regiments in the British Army before the RGLI was formed. The RGLI was created because there was no Guernsey named regiment to underline the island's devotion to the crown. The regimental motto, Diex X, derives from the battle cry used by the Duke of Normandy 1000 years earlier. The regiment was disbanded in 1919, but the regimental tradition lives on in the Guernsey Army Cadet Force, Det, Light Infantry, who, although they do not wear the RGLI cap badge, still keep alive the history of the regiment within the detachment. Topic History Topic Nineteen Sixteen The Seventeenth of December Royal Guernsey Light Infantry established Royal Guernsey Militia suspended for the duration of the war. Most men from the militia volunteered to join the RGLI, others including a few civilians, were conscripted. <laughs> 1917 Training in Guernsey at Fort George, Langcress and Bow Camps 1 June to England, Bourne Park Camp near Canterbury for advanced infantry training. Forming part of 202nd Brigade, 67th Division, July. 2nd Reserve Battalion formed to receive recruits and train them as replacements for casualties in the 1st Battalion RGLI, September. Soldiers sent on a final leave the 26th of September. The RGLI 1st Service Battalion 44 officers and 964 other ranks boarded trains to Southampton and onwards to France. Two officers and 53 other ranks returned to Guernsey to join the 2nd Battalion, too young, too old or unfit for France. 27 September Land at Le Havre and travel by 40 and 8's train to Stoke Camp, Proven, October. RGLI take their place in 86th Brigade, part of the 29th Division 9-14 October. Battle of Poelcapel, part of 3rd Battle of Ypres, or Poschendale. After this, rest and training for Cambrai, October to November. Training for planned battle of Cambrai with tanks, the 20th of November to the 3rd of December. Battle of Cambrai, where the RGLI's role was to go through the Hindenburg Line after the first wave and take nine wood to the north of Marcoing. This went according to plan, with few casualties, and they then moved into Marcoing and onto the front line at Masniers. The Guernseymen found themselves defending the small town of Les Rues Verts against a huge and determined German counter attacks on 30 November, pushed back they retook the village twice in heavy hand to hand fighting that lasted two days. They suffered heavy casualties, with nearly 40% of the regiment either killed, injured, or missing during the battle, but only withdrew when ordered to by the high command. A number of the wounded found themselves returned to Guernsey, to be cared for at the Victoria Military Hospital in Amherst or the Convalescent Hospital at Les Toulets, Castel. After this, rest, refitting, training and a search for replacements. 
The shortage of men available from Guernsey resulted in the RGLI entering 1918 with 50% of the men being non-Guernsey born. Topic 1918 18 to 26 January RGLI went back into the front line at St Jan northeast of Ypres After this work parties training point 8 to 29 March in battle zone, taking turns in the front line at Poelcapel point 3 to 7 April. In front line, Paschendale sector. Went out of the line, employed in trenching and draining. Pulled out of the front line, the 503 officers and men were hurried by lorry to Vieux Berquin in the Lee area where a German offensive had broken through. 10 to 14 April. Battle of the Lee, east of Haysbrook. German 6th Army under von Quast smashes 5 miles through Allied lines. The RGLI is bussed south to help stem the German advance. Hopelessly outnumbered, but holding the Germans in a fighting retreat from Le Doulieu to near Maris, the battalion suffer an appalling 80% casualties rate. The RGLI is relieved by the Australian 1st Division. Field Marshal Douglas Haig, 1st Earl Haig wrote in his dispatches, which was published in the London Gazette on 21 October 1918. After very heavy fighting, in the course of which the 1st Battalion Royal Guernsey Light Infantry, 29th Division, Major General D.E. Cayley CMG commanding the division, did gallant service. The fighting strength was now less than 110 officers and men. 27 April. The RGLI, withdrawn from the 29th Division and 86th Brigade, become GHQ troops well to the rear in Acquires where they became guard troops for General Haig's HQ. At Montreuil, Pas de Calais for the rest of the war and beyond. The Army headquarters was an enormous administrative body, divided into five departments staffed with a wide variety of personnel. Haig lived at a small chateau bore a pair, 2 miles 3.2 kilometers SE of the town on the D138.27 November. King George V, accompanied by Haig, made a triumphant passage through Montreuil on his way to Paris. Topic 1919. The 5th of April. Haig leaves Montreuil and the headquarters ceases to operate as such. Point two one to twenty two May. Many of the remaining members of the RGLI sailed back to Guernsey on the SS Lydia. They left behind 327 graves bearing their cap badge. Topic: Honors and awards. Topic: Orders and medals. Order of Saint Michael and Saint George, Companion, Third Class. T. L. de Havilland, Lieutenant Colonel Royal Victorian Order, Fifth Class. N. R. Ingrui, Lieutenant Military Cross. T. Hutchison, Captain. T. Major. F. de M. Lane, Lieutenant. H. A. Le Bas, Lieutenant. T. Captain. E. J. Stone, Second Lieutenant. H. E. K. Stranger, Second Lieutenant. Distinguished Conduct Medal. W. H. Budden, 569 Acting Sergeant. H. L. James, 586 Sergeant. 
W. J. Le Poitevin, 590 Sergeant Military Medal 1249 Private E. Le Moyne, RGLI survived the war, and returned on the SS Lydia in May 1919. He had been awarded a 29th Divisional Parchment for gallant conduct and devotion to duty. T. R. Robin, 841 Private C. H. Yeagers, 610 Private J. Seeley, 843 Corporal W. Ganacott, 335 Corporal W. T. Gregg, 87 Private G. Ruo, 458 Private Medi Militaire France J. Seeley, 843 Corporal mentioned in dispatches dispatch from Sir Douglas Haig to the Secretary of State for War T. L. de Havilland, Lieutenant Colonel E. A. Dory, Lieutenant C. W. Hockey, 438 Lance Corporal H. Jones, Lieutenant C. C. Machen, 226 Lance Corporal W. T. Robinson, 1131 Lance Corporal Topic. Battle honors In February 1925, in accordance with General Order No. 5034 the London Gazette published a complete list of battle honours awarded for the Great War, in General Orders, 1928, "...honours awarded to Militia Corps for services previous to the Great War shall pass to the reconstituted Militia Regiment and shall be emblazoned on all regimental standards, guidons or colours." Following the disbandment of the Royal Guernsey Light Infantry in 1919, the 1st Battalion Royal Guernsey Militia were granted the following battle honours. Ypres 1917 for militia men serving with Royal Irish Regiments Poschendale Cambrai 1917 Lee Estaires Haysbroke France and Flanders 1917-1918 The colours of the RGLI are hung in the town church, Guernsey. Topic. Poetry From BLICQ, A. Stanley, Norman 1000, Guernsey Press, 1920. Topic. Commemoration The Royal Guernsey Light Infantry Charitable Trust was formed in 2016 to commemorate the regiment. Its joint patrons are LT Governor Vice Admiral Sir Ian Corder and the Bailiff of Guernsey, Sir Richard Collas. The Trust intends to place memorials at Les Rues Verts, France and St. Peter Port, Guernsey on the centenary of key RGLI events in 2017. Topic. See also Royal Guernsey Militia Royal Militia of the Island of Jersey